Hello guys and girls, voices from the dark here, welcome back to the savior of Skyrim, and I'm on a horse, so the camera is not where it's been all the other episodes, and that is irking me quite a lot, but we are back with Mimir, with Barbus the dog, who's putting his little pawsies in the water, just considering the day's adventure. Barbus, are you ready to go on a little journey to Golden Glow Estate? Give a bark if you're excited. Give a bark if you hate me. Give a bark if you love... Okay, there we go. I said love. Mercurio, you're standing here by the... Okay, he had places to be. Divine smile on you, friend. Indeed. We are looking at our quarry across the water here. The Golden Glow Estate. I probably... I, I should probably not leave my horse here. Frost is looking at me like that is a very bad idea. So, I'll jump back up with my powerful uh, bare thighs, clamp the horse between my legs, and we shall fly. Fly, you fools. I would like to make my way across the water, and we're gonna have to figure out how to do it stealthily or fightily. But that will come in time. For now, we remember the Thieves' Guild. Brynjolf and uh, Mercer Frey has asked us to... Sneak into Golden Glow, burn down some beehives, steal the bill of sale. All for Maven Blackbriar, who in the previous episode, we kind of visited her estate, and... This was supposed to be a stealth mission. <laughs> yeah. She's probably not going to be super pleased, but then again. Who's to say it was us? It could have been any blind, mad, savage Nord man. There's plenty of them around. What are you- Whoa! Frost, look out! Your weakness is fire! Oh! Oh! Jump! What? Okay, they're trying to fight- Whoa! Okay, we got lightning, we got fire- This is a good start to the episode, it's gonna be a good day. Who- Whoa! Who is this? Okay, Frost, run away! Run away, Frost! I got him with my crossbow, my ultimate weapon. Oh! Got a hit! Alright, gonna fire another one. Watch out! <gasps> Was that mine? Did I get the kill on a- on just a red guard? Dwarven war- man! That was a mad woman! Alright, no shield though. I was considering if I was gonna pick up a shield in the city, but part of me wanted to see how I can do without- Hello, Mercurio. Hellboy himself. Alright, Frost, this is what life's gonna be like with the gang, okay? It's- it's kinda wild. I hope you're ready for it. We're gonna go with Frost for now, since this is a road we've traveled before, so I was gonna say it's gonna be safe, but that's not quite accurate. But I would like to ride up the road a little bit first, and the reason for that is that I want to go to Heartwood Mill, where we have to return with some grave news. I believe this is where we had to tell the fate of Leifnar, uh, or as some of you call them in the other one, dead nar or no life nar he, he had a a very unfortunate name considering he is just dead that's okay we're gonna tell the news without making a pun about his name i'll try my hardest my darndest that i will all right we're at the mill let's break the news coming here riding out of the dark oh hey there rabbit you are excellent target practice all right Crossbow, Mimir. Chick, chick. All right. Dun, 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 dun. I played Mountain Blade Warband. I know how this goes. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Harold Hellfury would not be proud of me. Chicken, though. Oh, right. <clears throat> yes, yes, of course. Civilized people do not shoot chickens in the dead of night. All right, Frost, take a breather. I am... The last time I tried to break in here, there was like a child involved. It was... It wasn't It wasn't a good time. So I've learned my lesson. We're gonna wait outside. There we go. I'm kind of scared of him. He threatened me last time. I don't want to get anywhere near him. I'm looking for your mom, though. Where are your mom at? She's still inside while her poor son is out here working. I'm gonna go have a word with her. It's just me and my mother at the mill here. My father is gone. We don't know what happened to him. 
Yeah, your dad, your old pa. Here for work? Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. No, I'm about to chop to pieces. You need to leave. Did <laughs> you specifically talking to the dog, but not me? You need to leave. Dude, it's a dog. Okay. A fine day to you, friend. May you die with a sword in your hands. She looks at my dog. You need to leave. Turns to me. Good day to you, my sweetest friend. I found Lifenar's body. There was no life left in him. No, it can't be. Mm. Oh my. And all this time I was thinking he'd been unfaithful to me. I feel so stupid. I've been a fool, wasting my time sitting here helpless when I could have sent help sooner. Perhaps this is all my doing. No. What's done is done. Here, I want you to have this. No Bringing purpose. me closure was Not kind the time. of you. Steel dagger of sapping. Aww. Drop by and see us again if you're ever in the area. Don't get too far you ahead. You need to leave. <laughs> okay, Barbas, you are not welcome here. I'm just gonna take this outside. Appreciate the dagger. Please treat my dog better next time. We got the little... Where is it? Was it an... Uh, was it a weapon? Steel dagger of sapping. Ten points of magic of damage. Well, it's a... It's a, it's a family heirloom. And I'll sell it at the nearest junk pen peddler that I find. Despite what you discovered... It's still comforting to know my husband is at peace. Yeah, he's in the afterlife, Nar, now. Mother, I finished cutting at the northern stand. Where do I move on to now? No. Oh. There's a copse of elms to the east. We could really use that wood. I was hoping to head into Riften for supplies, but I can do that after I'm done with the elms. Just be careful, Gralnak. That copse doesn't look safe. If you see any trouble, you run right home. Honestly, his name is Gralnak. He's gonna be fine. I knew it. I knew my father was a hero and he didn't just run away. You're gonna grow up to be somebody big one day, kid. I believe it. Someone big, someone strong. I hope you're not here to start some trouble. I'll fight you if I have to. Oh, I better get out of here. Oh, shit. Can you guys take care of Frost for me? Because where I'm going, I don't think I should be bringing a horse. Essentially, if we look out across the water, there are several big structures over there. Golden Glow is set up on several smaller islands. It's been forever since I've done this quest, but uh, there are multiple points of failure. And by failure, I mean there's not really any failure here. We can come in like a... like a bull in a... you know... beehive, and it's gonna be okay. I was looking for like a Golden Glow kind of... Alright, maybe crossbow right up close is... Oh my... Both of them? Mercurio! Did you guys see that? I don't know if it's even gonna show up on the video. Oh, I think the little kid found the rat corpse over there. Dude! Do you think I can hit him from here? We better get out of here. Okay. Sorry. It's- I'm just enjoying the crossbow so much, okay? Durok was enjoying it. He had two wives. How do you think he got the wives, huh? That's right, crossbow. Uh, big fort with many hostiles. Not at all where I wanted to go, so let's avoid that. Okay. We have Golden Glow over there. So my idea is that we waited out until night. I know night was just upon us, but it's- it's- it's more exciting if we sneak during the night. So, we're gonna be waiting around until the sun sets, just- Crouching behind the rock. Just like that. We're going to do a big ol' Mistfire, bless me! Oh, okay. We gotta be, uh, we gotta be mindful as we go along. I, I'm just... Oh, no, they, they're hitting Mercurio. Okay. I, I can't have Mercurio in combat. I actually need him with me. There's no way I'm gonna be able to stealth here with my current skill set, and I have no idea... I mean, I have no way of stealth killing them either, given how little damage I do and having none of the prerequisite perks for such an endeavor. So, I believe the beehives are over there on the other side of that wooden barricade, so I could potentially jump up on some of the rocks there. I'm going to wait around and see if I can get Mercurio with me over here. This is better. Mistfire bless us both, Mercurio. Where's... Bar okay, well, Barbus drowns. This is okay. We are just... You win some, you lose some. 
That's what I say. Let's see if we can sneak up here and at least sneakily burn the hives. After that, not sure how we're going to be hiding. Okay. Shadowstone at the ready. Mistfire, bless me. Oh, dude. Excellent form, Mimir. Okay. We did get an invisibility potion from Shadr, but it's the kind of stuff I want to stash away. But powers! I got no issue using those. All right. They won't know what hit them. Boosh! 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 No more, no less. Three hives down. My favorite. Oh no! Oh no! Why is it burning? No, 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 no! Stop! No! The fire! <laughs> oh shit. Why is it? Oh, it's because it's because I have the fire in my hands and that's okay guys I Made a grave mistake. I made a grave mistake Okay, I actually can't have that that's it's it's gonna fail that criteria and I want to do missions right so um, Now we know all I really had to do was lean into it. Okay. There we go. Very good. No! Oh, no! Stop! Oh, did I do it again? Don't. Okay, okay. Put away the fire. Uh, healing. Healing never hurt a beehive. Okay. I think we're good, right? I'm scared of saving. Okay. Okay. Is Mercurio with me? Can I wait when enemies are nearby? I need Mercurio. I need him up here. I don't know if he can... Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, he's on to me. He knows what's going on. <laughs> okay, maybe it wasn't super, super subtle. Uh, I can understand why they would come to investigate. Alright, I need Mercurio here. Oh, <gasps> yes! I was so scared, I thought for a second, <gasps> Mercurio, you gave us away! Oh, I, I thought we were good there first. Did Mercurio just sap me? Oh no, no, no! Mercurio! Oh no! This is so bad! He has the staff of Hagsroth! He's gonna burn the whole place down! If that fire <sighs> touches another one of the beehives, we fail. I don't think it even appears in your log if you fail. It's just like a surprise when you come home later. Brynjolf's like, well, I'm disappointed in you, lads. And I'm like, I don't want that. I don't want the disappointed Brynjolf in my life. Okay, now everybody's onto me. And Mercurio standing in the bushes. That, you know, this might be better. Maybe I shouldn't have... Okay. All of my spells are fire-based, including the Flame Atronach. He has a staff which creates infernos wherever he goes, and he can also summon a Flame Atronach. And we're fighting. And there it is. Okay. Where's Barbus? Barbus doesn't use fire. As far as I know. Okay. We're going back up. I I'll see you in pieces. Uh, oof. I, I can't I can't save either cuz I, I the mission might be borked right now. I do not know So here's what we do. I'm gonna do oak flesh Then I'm gonna do the exact opposite of what I'm supposed to be doing I'm gonna summon a flame atronach and I'm gonna go I need I need I need to see the see the hives We good one two three miss fire bless me. We're fine. We're fine. Only three are burning Just playing it so carefully right now. Oh, there's more of them. Oh, they're stuck on the rocks. All right, that's good. That oh no, they're so. Why are they all bald? Stupid already. bald people. Yeah, yeah. No manners, any of you. Okay. This is all good. Mercuria. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's so many. <laughs> I get why you're supposed to be sneaking, but that's that's not how we do things. We don't do it the easy way. Sneaking's over, boys, and girls, and dogs. Barbus, are you watching? If you're watching. Stop watching and, and get back into the, the, the game with me. I think we're gonna prepare for battle. Shieldless battle. No, what? Can you help Mercurio? Like the whole point of... All right, this I can work with. This I can work with. This little piggy went to market. And this little piggy got slammed by Mimir down in the water. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're running. You're running real scared now. Alright, alright. Oak flesh. 
Mistfire, bless me. Mistfire, curse you. Mm. All right, don't let him go. Why have I not eaten a vegetable soup? Somebody answer me this. Ah. It's been so much since city episode. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not ready for combat again. All right, ah. did have some action in the last one though. That was mostly an action episode. So, if you could just lay down and stop doing what you're doing. Okay, okay, okay. Don't, 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 don't get greedy with them. We have a level up now. That's gonna help. We're just gonna bother him a little bit. Take that Nurn root for Ingen Blackbriar. Gadoosh. Give him a little smack. It's just you and me. Look, I, dude, your mustache though, it's gonna bring you some glory in Sovngarde. I can tell you that. That's really all, all the positive news I have for you right now, buddy. No more. I yield. I yield. I don't. No, I said I don't care. We're gonna charge up the Steel Mace of Ice again. Uh, nothing of interest. Mr. Fire, bless me. At any moment now, Mercurio is gonna burn the whole place down. Okay, and uh, it's gonna be hard to get up here. Okay, I don't really want to attract more attention. I'm gonna go around. <sighs> then again, like if I want to clear this place, there's a okay. Mercurio is indeed with me. Let's put down the flames. I hear like 50 people. All right, I'm gonna summon Flame Atronach. Attack mercenaries, not beehives. Got some specific instructions. And there were rogue fireballs going off. That's just that's just today's theme, rogue fireballs. Alright. Let's uh, battle it out. Up here on the cliffs. Come on, boys. Let's dance. Oh, they got archers too. Sneaky sneaky. Alright, we can use this as cover from the archers. I think they got Flamey. Or Flamey's still up, but Flamey's down there now. I'm gonna summon Flamey so that she can be in fiery melee combat. Another mustache man! Dude. You call yourself a Nord. I see why. You could be born as any race if you grow a mustache. Like, one day you wake up, there's the muscly old Nord man. It's the power of the stash. I'm trying to, I'm trying to warn people for years. And... Oh boy, don't... Oh my god. Hey, hey, you. Hey, dude. Ken. Alright. He's not gonna. Dude, excellent pirouette. Nice form overall, but not quite what we're looking for right now. How many hives are burning? Three. Okay. Here's the plan. We might just. I mean, if, if we try to just bur burst in the door, then. That's not gonna... We're gonna be found out pretty quickly. None of these boys have shields, though. Alright, we're just gonna have to hide here. Not... I mean, not hide. I mean, tactically take a break. That's what it's called. Alright, you. Uh, you're not bald, so you probably don't have as much power as the others. <laughs> I like your moves. Oh my. You are definitely confusing my Flame Atronach with those moves there. Oh boy. She can't even fathom. Um, 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 um. I'm gonna catch a fireball in my mouth. <sighs> this isn't really working out. Mercurio's not here either, so I think what I'm gonna do is that I just... I want to find that sewer entrance that Vex was talking about. What is... <sighs> is that Barbus? Fighting bandits? Of course Barbus. Barbus just tries to help, okay? I can't blame Barbus. Barbus has been through a lot today. He was... I don't even want to repeat what that woman said to him in that house. Okay. Golden Glow Sewers. Oh, <gasps> Barbus! Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. I just pulled a virtual arrow out of a virtual dog. How's your day going? Mistfire bless me. I'm so glad you're here. Where's Mercurio? Is Mercurio here? He dead. All right, we're good. Get, Get out of here. Rats! It's like the rat way all over again. Oh yeah, you're gonna- OH SHIT! 
Run, 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 run. Oh, oh, yeah, I should have seen that coming. Hey, Mercurio! Everything is going according to plan. Okay, okay, okay. Yawa! And wabba. How about we do that? And I just burn him from the other the other side. That's a little better. Okay, let's wait for the fire to die. Excellent. Probably could have hidden here. I don't know why I ran back out. I thought this was going to be like a dead end. And it was, but... Don't ask for my reasoning. There is no answer. All right, someone was just chilling here, reading a book, the guide to better thieving. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I could use to learn from a few chapters. You really gonna do this to me now, Barbus? I'm not in the mood. All right, what is okay. It? What do you need? I need you to read me okay, a bedtime story. Ooh, you got the skills to unlock this? Okay, got it. Come on, let me see what you got. Okay, got it. <gasps> you anything else? You did it! What do you need? I have no idea what you I took now. Apprentice wizard. What did you what did what did he get? Very well, but make it quick. Oh, it probably wasn't immensely <sighs> exciting. So wait, you have you he had gold on him. I am an apprentice wizard. That's not okay. You lead, I'll follow. I carry the gold in this relationship. Uh, Oh, Barbus, your butt. Such a wide collider. Such a strange thing to say to someone. Can we lay down these rats on the ground? This is... Creepy. Yes, Barbus, sit right in the corpse pile and be ultra cute. Our friends love you. Ow, what was that? <laughs> That, ladies and gentlemen, was the trap. I should have learned from the first trap, but... No. Alright, open Skyrim. It's uh, an old twist on open sesame. We're out. Everybody's gathered. Dude, Mistfire... Mist... Mistfire, bless us all. On this day. Okay. There's a boat. We could take a boat. We could get out of town. I love this. And we're right by Golden Glow Estate. Okay, okay, okay. Nobody knows I'm here. Okay, there we go. Two Flame Atronox, a mage, a dog, and a blind Norseman. Attack! Excellent. Hey there. Here's... Come here. Nice. This is much better when I have my friends with me. Power of friendship. Beats the power of stealth any day. Alright, still nice. Okay, we got some archers over there. Some mean boy archers. Me and Barb is gonna get them. They've been causing trouble. I'm gonna... They're shooting arrows. Oh, they're the arrow shooters. Oh boy, they all turned to me. Shoot my dog, shoot my dog. Don't shoot me. Okay. Wow. Man, they are good at this. Okay, okay. Oh, we have a level up available. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I All right, let's let's try to hit the enemy. Not our dog. All right, let's hopefully our back is protected from arrows and not totally exposed. Hopefully Mercurio is keeping them out. Okay, he's not. He's over here though. All right, so we're going to summon another flame here to help bring this guy down as quickly as we can so that we can get some extra firepower. So I'm on a clear golden glow state so to say, even though it's not really traditionally clearable. Okay, okay, we need to just consider where we're shooting our arrows. Some places are no-no zones, like any part of me is a no-no zone. Mr. Fire bless me. I hear a Nurn root somewhere. Is this a good time to look for Nurn roots? Something tells me it isn't. So we're gonna leave that be for the time being. Deal with the mercenary lads. Just like that. Excellent. Golden Glow Gate Key! Nice, that is an item that we have to collect. And there we go. Good, good, good. And... I love the fire over here. And... Can I summon Flamey down there with him? I'm gonna do that just so he's taken care of. 
I want everybody to feel like I'm paying attention to them, okay? So, I'm gonna keep this boy stunned while my friends hopefully do some ranged fun on him before he does some ranged fun on me. Excellent. A lightning strike or two. And a fireball in the back of the head. I think with that graceful death... Did we do it? I think my flamey took care of the, the guy that was down here. Yep, he dead. <laughs> Flame is coming over. Nice. Okay, everybody. Good good job so far. Stealth, 10 out of 10. We've gotten that gate key. Cleared the outside of mercenaries. Only two... Uh, three are burning. <laughs> I'm surprised. Ah, this is going surprisingly well. Let's... Hold on. He's mumbling about something, Mercurio. Why does a pack mule even talk? Alright, <laughs> Mercurio's trying to sneak too. I appreciate the effort. There's one rogue man over here. Well, smack him down just so that we don't have any nasty surprises when we're escaping later on. Steel Mace of Ice. Use a greater soul gem on that because I'm feeling a little generous. Doink. Give him the good old doink. Get a dog biting you. A mage attacking you. A flame atronach caressing you. And my mace destroying you. Okay, okay. Now, boys, we've done well. This mercenary is dead. Golden Glow Estate. So there were two doors. Let's just go in here. What's the worst that can happen? We're inside. Obtain the key to Aaron God's safe. I'd like to do that, actually. Life of Uriel Septim. Good book, good book. Nordic Barnacle. Miss Fire, bless me. No. Secrets. Treasure. Maybe. A strong box behind a locked door. Next to a clothing iron. Whatever might it contain. Oh. 255 gold is not bad. A loot. It's not bad either. Okay, okay, okay. So far, so good. <laughs> yes, Barbus, you're very cute. Not very stealthy, but very cute. My feelings for Barbus stay vary a lot. Sometimes his butt has like the biggest collider in the world. Other times his barking just makes my makes my ear. Okay, okay, okay. Ta -da. Ta -da -da -da. Nice. So far so good. What's in the knapsack? I can at least pretend to sneak. Silver ruby ring. Excellent. Uh. Yeah, we're clear. We good. What's in here? We got food. We got drinks. Got plenty of drinks. All right, Mark. Yes, Barbas. You know, we got to talk about this old barking during a stealth mission thing of yours. It's um, it's getting to be a problem. Miss Far bless me. Oh, surprisingly quiet here. I'm feeling like a proper thief. Did I hear somebody on? All right. I mean, I have more stealthy gear on me. Maybe I should embrace that thief. Okay. <laughs> you startled me, Mercurio. You and your dumb getup. Where'd you even get that stuff? Okay. I think the first floor is looking pretty clear. There's no, or I'm walking in circles. Labyrinthine designs in these golden glow halls. Chests. Flawless amethyst? Mistfire. You are truly a force that I am feeling all around me and inside me. Filter of lock picking, sub healing. Now we can return to Talon J in Riften. 
give him so he can have himself a weird little lizard wedding. I'm all about that. I'm all about that. Alright, Barbus. You ready? Yeah. So, we know we checked that and then I went around there and this is the other way there. Okay, I have made a mental map of the house and we are good. Of course, we also have... That is not a very helpful map. But I think this is the only hole... Now, you're about to see something. I've been training all my life for this moment. Durok showed me. He got two wives. Legends say it was due to a crossbow shot. Much like this. Kapow! Oh, did you hear that scream? Nobody's here. Must have been the wind. Must have been the wind. There's a lot of person. That's fine. No way we were sneaking past, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mercurio is at it with his shock spells right now. On point. All right. I'm gonna summon Flamey right in the middle. Get some oak flesh up in here. I am I am stuck. I might need to use my level up bonus because this guy's incessantly harrowing me at every step. Oh boy. Can you chill? Chill, 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 chill. We need to We need to talk about you and the word chill. I'm going to increase my health. That's also level 25, which I believe is an achievement. So that's fun. Uh, I have actually been looking at speech. Because I do need to eventually become an investor. And a lot of these perks are just super useful for me. So I'm going to start by being better at haggling. And then we're going to just work our charm and become a merchant, investor, fans. Not that we become them. You know what I mean. That's definitely going to be useful. Boom. All right, you like fire? It's more where that came from. Yabba! Excellent. Take my steel bolt back. So far, so good. Not a sound to be heard. I'm sure Erangoth is upstairs. She's listening to some lo-fi beats with the noise-canceling head headset. You know, magical artifacts these days. They're crazy. Can't hear a thing. Yeah, That would explain a lot of bandits' perception in the cave as their friends are being killed off around the corner. Just listening to those beats. Alright, Mercurio's there. I'm gonna summon some help here. I took something way too long on him. Okay, sneaky sneaky, what's in the door? <laughs> so I just hear screaming and fire. Hope nobody notices me. Oh. There we go. Bingo. Singular gold piece, my favorite loot. Some history there, stat, death grunt, we all know and love. <laughs> oh, wow. What a pose. Only a man with a great mustache could perform such a pose. It is said that the more slender and graceful the caterpillar is upon your lip, the more bent your body can become. There is a direct correlation, scientifically proven. I'm gonna take some of the gold. And it's quiet again. Aaron Goth won't know what hit him. <gasps> Interesting. Why is there a cell-like door here? What has he got to hide? Ow. It's, was that enough? No, don't look. Please don't look. Don't break two. I will cancel this series. Okay, so this with Golden Glow Estate Basement. Basement. Don't want to go to the basement. Don't want to check the rest of the place. I'm kind of curious about the basement. I want to see. I want to see what else is here while we're here, because we could also go to the second. No, let's check out the basement. Everything good happens in the basement, as they say. Into into it we go. Uh oh. Oh. Okay. Speaking of good, I think I need to redefine good. All right, we got oak flesh. Mistfire blessed me. We got an atronach. We got spirits. High hopes. 
Guts and willpower. Elbow grease. We got it all. We're ready to go. Smack down some mercenaries. Bold brigade back at it again. Golden glow cellar key. Perfect. Another item I would like to have my hands on. And leave you lying on the ground in a burning, preferably crying pile. I already got a copy of the key. Of course, the cellar key doesn't go to the chests. That would be preposterous. Vigorous healing, I will take. That's pretty good. All right. Is this the poop, 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 poop corner? Everybody needs one of those. All right. What else is going on down here? Yeah, probably a good idea, Mercurio. Okay, okay. There's a coin purse over here. This is where they're storing the... The hides. The bounty. The harvest, the loot. You're saying I should approach with open fire and a flame matronach. Okay. I gotcha. That's probably a good idea. Never should have come here. Let's go! Yeah. I guess I'm just gonna punch him. Alright. I was not stepping on that. Forget about it. Uh, it looks like something, alright. Hard to describe the situation you are in accurately, but it is not nothing. Oh, part. Yes. Oh, okay. I know you guys want to help. Like, I, I really know you guys want to help. Sometimes I need some... Sp oh, communication was the key all along. You'd be surprised at how often that is true. We can go further into the basement. Let's do that. Aaron got safe. Okay, okay, okay. With this estate sewer. We were, we were in the sewer. I mean, that's the difference. This whole place, man. Okay. Alright, this is our escape route. We're gonna need the key for the I mean, we're not gonna need the key. But I want the key for the safe, so we're gonna go back upstairs. Get what we need to get. Get that bill of sale. And we'll all be good. Let's see, what's in the... Let's drop miscellaneous for now. Obtain the key to Arangoth's safe. Clear out Arangoth's safe. That we can do. I'm going to find whoever did this. Oh! When I do, got trouble. Huh? Someone there. How did you guys know where did you come from? <gasps> okay, okay, boys. Boys. Boys, let's talk this out. Like, why are they back? Why are there more? Okay, it's fine. We're just gonna we're gonna lose them on the second floor. That's the strategy right now. Okay. Excellent. New floor. Fresh pages. Oh, it actually kind of worked. Uh oh, he heard my healing. Oh. That was a fire explosion. Wait, so even if I'm on the second floor, is the first floor loaded in? Because I heard an explosion of fire. Okay. Yes. Wait, wait. Wait, are we in the. We might be in the same level, just. Like, or not the same level, but you know what I mean. Oh. There you are. No, there I'm not. Oh, this is such a pain. Oh boy, okay, okay. New plans, new plans, everybody. Darren Goth, where art thou? We'll find him. Okay. Come on, come on, Aaron Goth. Just need a key. It's a silly little key of yours. Nothing big. Oh, <gasps> nice. Okay. This, this, this looks good. This, this looks. Oh, hey, Iron Goth. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, somebody also pointed out that the Thieves Guild chest and the other one, the reason it resets was because there was somebody in the room watching me. So that's a good note. 
One Erangoth. You freaking... You get back here! We need to have a chat. Yeah. Oh, oh no! That, can, I just, I just want the... Yeah, there we go! Okay, so maybe we do have to kill some of the, some of the enemies that are in here. Okay, well, I'm gonna get to busting up some of these boys, but so much, so much fighting. I might be speeding through some of this, I'm not sure, but it's just, there's just so much. There's just so many. All right. All right, but we do have our friends here, so that's something. Let's go. With that wonderful, beautiful death, this floor is clear once more, and we can advance to the second floor. All right, gang, let's let's draw some more trouble here. All right, come here, come here. We're gonna have a party. Uh, Barbus is trapping me in this room with a madman. Classic Barbus moment, you know. All right, there we go. Excellent. All right. I'm gonna keep fighting my way through. And with that, he is no more. Barbus is lying on a sharp sword, and Mercurio is looking ready to go. Misfire bless me! Aringoth! I'm here! Again. No, 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 hey, hey, look, we, we chill, we... Alright, doesn't look like Erangoth wants to talk. Alright, I guess the way we're gonna persuade him to get the key is through force. He has wronged Maven, he has wronged the Thieves' Guild. And now my dog will chew him to bits in the corner. Hey, you moved over here. I don't, I'm not sure what the tactical advantage you were hoping to achieve here is. But, uh, it's... I... I can't really say I understand. Alright. Excellent, Erangoth. Great pose. Great pose. You do have the Golden Glow safe key. Excellent. Now, we need to find that bill of sale. A bee in a jar. A... Something very cool over here. I assume we find the bill of sale in the safe. Gold Queen Bee statue. Oh, you betcha. Delvin's gonna love this. Alright, a coin purse. And nothing else. There's a knapsack here I missed. Gold, push my needle, silver, and sapphire circlets. Hold on. Tomato. That's pretty good. Put away the pickaxe. Mercurio didn't want to come any further. That's all right. He didn't have to witness the uh, embarrassing demise of Erangoth. Anything in this little room? Or there's a, a depth door that honestly I can't be bothered. Just like I'm just gonna. Why? Why make things hard on yourself when you can just not? Wait, where did that adept door go? I thought it was like obvious where it led, or does it lead so? Hold on. Wait a minute. Maybe this is where the actual treasure is. Hmm. The treasure of watching me break another lockpick. Priceless, some say. Two gold, imperial... Alright. Go... Wait. That was curious. They placed gold under the lid or it just glitched there. That's fun. Be careful! Be careful! I'm a pack mule. Let's go to the basement now. We got the key. Should be nobody left unless they somehow reappear. Which would suck. Because I've killed my daily dose of mercenaries. Oh, man, I'm too fast for my own good. There we go. Golden Glow Estate Basement. Excellent. 
It's quiet down here. Perfectly quiet. Oh, that's... Now where we go. Dead bandit. Mercenary ba Mercenary bandit! Come on. Who's gonna do, point out a distinction there? Oh, you are. Hmm. This better be more than five gold, I'll tell you that. Golden Glow Bill of Sale. We got it. At long last. With that, we can return to Brynjolf. Nice. Okay. Let's follow the sewer tunnel here. See where it... Alright. Oh! I see. And that's the one that's outside Golden Glow. Cool! That was a... Messy... And... Frankly, non-stealthy way of completing that mission. But... In my defense... The mission is called Loud and Clear. I don't know how a message can be clearer or louder than what I just showed you. So, let's return to the city now. I want to take this to Brynjolf. Hopefully Maven's gonna be happy. We have the Amethyst now for Tall and Jay, which was just a, a nice little bonus for us to get, so we can wrap that up immediately. Other than that, I feel like our friends did well. Barbus. Barbus, Barbus did well too. It's, it was just a little, a little inconsistent. And they're having some arguments over there. That's okay. These are the docks. That's what you do here. Oh, hey, Maul. Dirge told me you made it into the guild. You need dirt on anything? You talk to me. Will do. Be seeing you around. Oh man, I was just saying how. It was nice with some combat after city episode. I need some city episode after the combat. Okay. Who are you again? My husband Bercy will be the death of me. Oh, he spends too much time worrying about Riften and uh. not enough about himself. Bercy Honeyhand. All the crime and corruption okay. in Riften is really getting to him. All right, all right, all right. We want to go to the Thieves Guild and we're going to take the shortcut there that nobody else in town knows about. After all, it's a very secret button. Into the ragged flagon. Need hey, there he is. Uh, and <laughs> I love how he's. It's almost like he's challenging Brynjolf. You see, do you remember when Brynjolf came in the other day, like fell in the water? It was embarrassing. I think he's mocking him. Like, hey, Brynjolf, remember when you stood in the water? It's pretty pathetic. Brynjolf, I'll take your when mind off it. His golden glow has been hit. Good job, Laugh. <laughs> yeah, hits. Yeah, here's what was in the safe. Let me take a look at what you found. Arengarth sold Golden Glow? Oh, I should have... What's that idiot I thinking? I never read that. I... He has no idea the extent of Maven's fury when she's been cut out of a deal. But I'm certain he'll find out. Yeah. If only the parchment had the buyer's name instead of this I odd symbol. I should have read the... Any idea Hold what on. that might be? Hold <laughs> on. Oh, whoa, okay, sorry, my, uh, mace came out there. It happens sometimes. Golden Globe Bill of Sale. Erangoth. This document acknowledges the sale of Golden Glow Estate and all property, assets, and materials contained within. Payment of the property has been made in full by Gaiul Lay as an agent on behalf of the buyer. All dealings with the Thieves' Guild in Riften are to cease immediately. To deter any possible retribution for this act, you are to take immediate steps to protect our assets in any way you see fit. I think you'll find that the Thieves' Guild is far more bark than bite and will likely avoid Golden Glow Estate rather than thin their already dwindling numbers. Good luck and may this be the start of a long and lucrative partnership. And then there's just that symbol. The dagger, what does it mean? Brynjolf, what does any of it mean? Word on the street is Golden yes. Glow. Let me take a look. Here we go. He has no... If only the parchment had the buyer... No idea. Last. Well, I'll check my sources and speak to Mercer. But for now, you're off to speak to Maven Blackbriar. She asked for you by name. Maven wants to see me? Like, we have... This was supposed to be a stealth mission. We have a complicated relationship. 
Uh, sure, but, uh, will I come out of there alive? <laughs> if it was like that, she wouldn't be asking for you. She'd be calling on the Dark Brotherhood. Wouldn't be the first time. It's just business. What does Maven want from me? That's between you and Maven, and I prefer to keep it that way. Don't worry about it. Maven's business dealings usually involve quite a bit of gold for her people. Speaking of which... <laughs> of course, your pay. <laughs> You're smart as a whiplot. Keep doing right by us, and there's plenty more where that came from. Until next we meet, lad. Dampened spirits. Speak to Maven Blackbriar. All right, well, it's been a good run. Might as well put our head on the executioner's block. Speaking of Maven Blackbriar, I just got to point out, your comments are amazing. Like, I really appreciate reading them. Some days are harder than others to take time in a busy week to, to sit down and, 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 and rejoin with Mimir. But it's always such a joy to just see the response it gets. And <laughs> one such comment on the previous episode I would like to read to you. And I imagine this is in the form of a letter from someone you will find out. Mimir, I know it was you who killed my mercenaries and stole my horse. Know that on this day, you have made a very powerful enemy. I will not rest until every single leak in Skyrim has been grilled beyond any use. I will purchase every vegetable in the markets and mix them into useless stews and soups that restore a paltry amount of health. You will look upon the empty shelves, the dusty cupboards, and the barren fields, and know that I, Maven Blackbriar, am responsible for the horde of inedible plate woodens that take the place of the once edible clutter that you so dearly prized. That was by Abrogator91, and I found that amazing. I love, I love that lore. Me and Maven, we got some beef going. It's time we face that beef, and that's it's a good thing we stop by here. This is where we get Tall and Jay too. Let's start with him. Hey, man! You have some nerve coming back here after what you did to Kirava. Yes. Now about the wedding. I, I, I don't know what to say. Such kindness is unheard of in these times. I'm a well of good. Here, I want you to accept this as payment for your sacrifice, and I, well, we. Oh, thank you. Let's change the tone. Potion of the night. All right. Am I invited to the wedding at least? Just get out of here. I promise not to threaten her family. It's probably going to be awkward if her family is there. You know what? I'm, I'm going to skip the wedding. Mercurio. What is it? Are we seeing a leak? Mercurio's onto something. He, he sniffed something out. Hold on. Oh my god, that is so creepy. I don't like that. Mercurio saw through the floorboards. He's not even coming up with me. All right, better seal my fate here. So you're the one. Hmm. You don't look so impressive. Here we go. I'm the best at what I do. Is that confidence I hear? Or is it arrogance? Strange how often they're confused. You have to understand. It's been a long time since Brynjolf sent me anyone I can rely on. You have no faith in the guild? Faith? I don't have faith in anyone. All I care about is cause and effect. Did the job get done and was it done correctly? There's no gray area. You won't have that problem with me. I hope not. This is an important job. I have a competitor called Hunning Brumidery that I want to put out of business. I also want to know how they managed to get the place up and running so quickly. Where do I begin? Head to the Bannered Mare in Whiterun and look for Malus Machius. He'll fill you in on all the details. Whiterun, eh? How did you become allied with Steve's guild? The Blackbriar family has always been allied with the guild. Our connections with the Empire and within Skyrim make for a perfect fit. I dare say the guild owes its survival as much to my family as it does to its own people. Who runs the show at Hunting Brumidery? Some layabout named Sabjorn. Been a thorn in my side for the last few years now. 
Sabjorn seems like more than just friendly competition. Not a day goes by that I don't regret letting Sabjorn get as far as he did. In only a few short years, he's taken that bile he calls mead to market and a chunk of my profits with it. I can't imagine where he found the gold to take it to market so quickly. So get rid of him and he's no longer a threat. Exactly. With Sabjorn in prison, his meadery will be forced to close. Then I swoop in and take over the place. No more competition. Why strike now? The Golden Glow estate job has undoubtedly interrupted the supply of honey I need to make my mead. Sabjorn could use this interruption to his advantage and collect a larger share of the market. I can't have that. Okay. One more time, in case I wasn't clear. You butcher this job, and you will be sorry. Okay, what a pleasant conversation with Maven Black. <laughs> Did you see Barbus just rah, rah. Pleasant conversation with Maven Black. Oh, you're so cute. I can't hate you. Maven Blackbriar. She is sending us to Whiterun. And it is actually kind of in the future plans. What I want to do right now is that I want us to return to Windhelm. We have a couple of jobs here to do uh, some Thieves skill stuff. And there's also a lot of cool stuff that we can do along the way there. Then I think we're going to maybe take a, a ride back to... Uh, Fall Kriya, stop by Lakeview Manor, and then consider if it's time to head to White Run once more, just to give you just a little bit of taste of the madness and the planning that goes on inside my head. But we're gonna depart the city. It's been a long episode. It's been very combat heavy. Ain't no doubt about it. Uh, the Thief Guild is back, and they've got Riften in their grip. Thief Guild? Haven't heard about them. Who are they? <laughs> Thank you for making it through the episode. I know it's been combat heavy. It's been a lot of the same mercenaries with the same bald head and the same mustache. But they've been taken care of. They're done for. They're goners. We are standing in front of a new journey. Riften's been fun. I've enjoyed my time here so much. We made some powerful connections, gotten some new powerful friends. Some cool gear, some new opportunities. But now it is time, of course, that we hit the road once more. And that is a good note and a beautiful vista to leave off on. But guys and girls, do make sure you tune into the next episode when we hit the road and see whatever adventures lie in store. But until that day comes, have a still good day, take care, and stay awesome. But most important, everybody... Stay dark. Goodbye.